center video demonstration, it will show the new tunnel inspection view in the tunneling module version 5.4. The tunnel inspection view can be used to view deviations for construction quality control, such as in shockcrete or excavation analysis. We're able to view a previously created inspection map for comparison to show the deviations in a heat map plan view, cross section, and deviation view. This information is useful to show undulations in the surface, thickness, as well as out of tolerance locations. There's also a variety of settings to customize the view and change options. So the very important tool with the inspection workflow is to use the inspection view, which can be opened by either right clicking on the inspection map or from the ribbon here under inspection view. Once the inspection view opens, you'll see that it's an entirely separate view in TBC, which shows on the left hand side a plan view. So this is a unfolded view of the tunnel shape, starting with the center being the, the alignment location and unfolded out to the sides. On the X axis is the offset and on the Y axis is the station range. Now on the right hand side, you'll see cross section view and a deviation view. To have these populate, first you need to select a station in the inspection plan view. So at the bottom, you can see there's a station range here. I can actually use the slider to choose a section, or I can click in the plan view to, to view a certain station. So for instance, I will click here, and you'll notice there's a red line in the plan view to show which station I am selected. Now in the cross section and deviation views, you see that the cross section view has a lot of measurements along the profile and it's showing in blue the base mesh, which was our design, and in red the excavation or compared mesh. And then it's showing over break and under break values, which are colored accordingly to what's shown in the plan view. And any values that are on the Outside edge means they are over break, and anything on the inside values here labeled are under break. So we can see that all around the tunnel. Now on the deviation view, what we see at the zero along the y axis is the ideal compared mesh. So in theory, if the two meshes were coincidence and there was no delta between them, the red and blue line would be the same. But in this case, a red line dictates the deviations between those two meshes. And starting from the left-hand side of the plan view, working away to the other side. This is very useful for analyzing undulations and smoothness in the surface. So in this case, we see there's significant deviations around the tunnel and we're not getting quite a smooth surface. But it also can be used to show thickness. For instance, at this value here, I can see that roughly 0.3 is the thickness at negative 3.5 offset. So for analyzing shotcrete thickness, this deviation view is quite useful. I can also turn views on and off by clicking on the X button. And now I only have two views. I can also go to the view option at the bottom and show, click views to show so I can turn the deviation view back on if I would like. You'll notice that the in the plan view, the mesh is colored based on this color bar here on the right hand side. To change this, I can right click on the mesh or in the bottom right hand side, I can select this icon to change the color mapping. So here's the current color map, and this is the colors based on the deviations between the two compared meshes. I can choose various op options for changing that such as evenly spaced or actual elevations. I can manually change these values by going here. I can also insert values if I want by clicking here and inserting a new elevation. And I can also change this by several options, such as space evenly. If I only wanted, let's say, seven different colors, I can press that, and now I have colors based on that. For instance, if I wanted to change the color, if I didn't like this green color and I wanted to go with an aquamarine and I wanted to change this green to, let's say, more of a blue, I can change those and then press OK. 
and then the mesh course mesh up updates to match those colors. There's also options to save. So if you want a specific color table, you can save that file out and it will save as a TCF. And I can also load up those in any subsequent project. There's also some settings which can be accessed by this yellow cog here in the bottom right or from the main settings wheel at the top of the project. On the bottom right, I'll click the settings wheel and you'll see here in the project settings for TBC, we've got a new tunnel inspection view for the general inspection view, but also for the plan, cross-section, and deviation view. The resolutions are one of the more important settings. This defines how often we're calculating a inspection point along that mesh. So in this case, on the linear direction resolution, this means along the station or along the alignment of the tunnel, we're calculating points every 0.1 meters, and along the cross section, we're also calculating the 0.1 meters. This is why we, we get so much points here in the cross section view. Let's say I only needed to see points at every 0 0.3 meters, which will significantly decrease the resolution, but also show just enough data that we can get an idea of the shape. And I'll press OK. This will regenerate the mesh to show that that new resolution. And you'll see that it's updated and you can see it's slightly more pixelized because of that 0 0.3 value. And in the cross section view, we've got a little bit more clean look of the tunnel. There's also a variety of other options you can change. You can use the show two colors only. In this case, it'll only show the over and under break color. So I've got them set as blue and red and that will update correspondingly for the mesh. It's important to note any areas that are in black are areas with no data, so a mesh cannot be computed. Back in the tunnel inspection view settings, we can change some various options for the plan, cross section, and deviation views, such as how the grid lines are shown. We can also change if there's a legend shown and the line style and so forth. In the cross section view, we can choose to show different line weights. For instance, if I wanted to show a thicker line weight for the comparison comparison mesh, I can choose that. Now when I press OK, see that the red line is much thicker and easier to view. Once I'm done in the tunnel inspection view, I can simply close it by going to the bottom and clicking the X, and this will open back up into the plan 3.